got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. BA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Carry for DeAndre Swift. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. First down Lions on a pickup of 13. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Ball carrier. If you start Taking assessing what went wrong last line. week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time, when you do it consistently, it usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Detroit. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Stafford throwing quickly, complete out wide, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Throwing on second and eight. Stafford, this will be caught just inside the 10. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jamal Agnew. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. First and goal at the one. 
They'll run with Swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal. And they sent that play backwards. One more time with Swift. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. DeAndre Swift, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Lions have taken the lead. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. Makes the score Lions 7, Panthers nothing. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Bridgewater going to lead the Panthers up here, first and 10 at their own 24. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Brooks Reed with a tackle. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. On the tackle. It's a game. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Now Bridgewater, quick throw out wide to Samuel. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. On second and 11 now, Bridgewater. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. The last two plays, each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. At their own four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but 
They would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. Complete to T.J. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Stafford going to give it to Swift. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. The Lions, first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It leads to second and 10. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On second down, Swift. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Panthers nothing. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Complete. Two a gain of 37. A gain it's of not often that you'll find offensive yards. and defensive guys that'll agree on much, but one place they find common ground, you've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play moving it downfield. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first in just inside the 30. Here's a hand off to Swift. A gain of three, second down. Swift, the ball carry. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Monday, Monday, Monday. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 23. Brought down at the 23 yard line. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Tackle made. At Two the yards and able line. to get the first down in the process. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. First and 10, Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Hawkinson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Lions add on to their lead. And it's 
good to make it 14 nothing. Makes the score Lions 14, Panthers nothing. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. He has a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Bridgewater on third and two. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on it, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Complete to Christian. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. But the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Brings up fourth down and one. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. On the return, here's Agnew. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Lions will take over. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 21. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. From the 21, it's second and 10. 
to throw again. Stafford over the middle complete. It's James. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. First down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Stafford, a slant to Jones, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They go play action here on first down. They'll get this one to Galladay. And he's got this down to the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Maurice Alexander making the stop defensively. Four yards. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On first down at Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The tackle made. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Seven brings up second and three. They'll run here with Swift. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. On third down, here comes Swift. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. scrimmage the two they can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short they'll try it now with swift and he is into the end zone touchdown detroit deandre swift with his second touchdown here in this first half and the lions are able to extend their lead the kick is good and he's able to put it through the score lions 21 Panthers nothing. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Come on. 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And some dangerous territory, You're already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Intended for Curtis Samuel. Incomplete. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Bridgewater. He's going to look deep for more. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. By the Lions. They'll take over first and 10 at the 49. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Shot before the break, Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Now this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47 yard line. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. 37 yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 41, Bridgewater. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Goal at the five-yard line. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. That was a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Second down and goal. Bridgewater flushed out right. And he will score. Touchdown Panthers. Teddy Bridgewater taking it in. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to seven. Makes the score of Lions 21. Panthers. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. Derek, Big Derek Brown making the stop. Two yards. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Stafford's pass. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Third down, Swift, he'll have a first down past the 40, and he'll take it to the 43-yard line. Ball first down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. So far this season, this is an offense that's proved its ability to move the football. I mean, they're in the top five in the NFL and picking up first downs, and they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down, because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. A lot easier to pick them up then, isn't it? A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He'll drop this one off to Swift. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Ten more there and another first down. First down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Down Lions. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Stafford. Flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Derek Brown in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but he did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Third and long, it's Stafford. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And the 13-year man puts it through. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give the defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. At their own 24 yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back.
Second and 10 now, third quarter from Charlotte. Again, they run again, it's McCaffrey. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Chicken down right at the Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Third and 10. Third down now, and those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. He's going to look deep for more. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A big third down play there for the Panthers. 52 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Bridgewater to throw it. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Not much there, only a yard. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And the ball situated at the 9. Second and goal. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? And not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. McCaffrey. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped off a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Stafford. He's got his tight end over the middle. T.J. Hawkinson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards there. First down. And the Lions first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run right here with Swift. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now the second active leading rusher in the NFL, it's Adrian Peterson. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 39 yards there, a big one. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down, fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to, says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We got them now. Three yards the game there, second down. A gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, here's Stafford. Being chased out left. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. A 22-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull the rabbit out of their hat. And it's incomplete. It's a dangerous pass. That's what it was. And it brings up second down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
going on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. But it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And they'll indeed take a knee. Stafford on the keeper. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 42-yard line. And they will take a knee here. Stafford on the keeper. A loss of a yard. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they take a knee. Today's final score line. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for Detroit, they keep pace for a playoff spot as they move to 7-3. And, and they'll head back home next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it's starting to look like it won't be their year as they drop to 5-6. and six. There they'll be off to...